you have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 335th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a great episode. We're talking about money in the bank tonight. Money. Money, money in the bank. In That's the, the whole bank. object of the plumbing business, really? money in the bank. No, business is just meant to serve people. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and have circus, every, you know, circus Friday, you know, for your... For your employees, it's all about you know, serving. bring in massages and all that's all about serving your customers. No, it's and about money in the bank. That's right. In fact, I've been mean, looking forward to this episode. I look okay. forward to every episode that's because true. this is stuff. Mm -hmm. These are mistakes that I made that I don't want you to make. We, I mean, yes. all these. That's really yes. what this show ought to be called. <laughs> don't don't make my foolish mistakes. <laughs> don't, I think a, don't do these dumb things. That's right. So we're going to go over three dumb things mm -hmm. that we all do starting out. Yes. Okay. In when fact, some may still be doing it. Money. When it comes to money, that's keeping you from having money in the bank. Right. Can't wait to get to it. Okay. Hey, good to see you here, baby. Thank you, baby. All right. Mm -hmm. We kind of went our separate ways here. I know. A little we, bit. we always say that on Mondays, but we do. Well, what is that? Yeah. What do you well, schedule? What? <laughs> you were with me all weekend long, and then it's like I got to I got to get away know. from him. I right. Know. Right. Good day, James. Says good day right. from the Alzi Plumber in Phoenix. It's good to have you here, James. I just finished module one. All right, all man. All right. Love hearing that. Good. good. For you. All right, what's your hourly rate? Mm -hmm. Honest hourly rate. Hey, Mike. All right, hey, that's right. Mike reminds me too. Type live. Hey, if mm -hmm. you're joining us live, part of the live social audience, mm -hmm. please type live. Let us know that you're here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alex. All right. Alex. Is live. Good and to have you here, brother. As well. All right. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching the replay, please type replay. Let us know you caught the replay. And Amen. if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just keep on listening. Mm -hmm. All right. The babes in the house. Hey, the babes in the house. So Lance babes. is in the house. Lance, we were just talking about. We you. just talked. Were your ears ringing? Sorry, right. Your ears should have been ringing. We were talking about Kelly. That. The other ball. Other our ball. Favorite our fa favorite ball. Favorite ball. Balls in the house too. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Roadrunner Road Plumbing. Plumbing. Oh, Kathy, Miss Kathy. The, um, the um, new billboard in San Antonio mm. for Roadrunner. Yeah. Very exciting. That's fun. Love seeing that. Patrick's Patrick live. Hello All right, man. Good Plumbing. to have you here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron's <laughs> live. Saying hello as well. Happy Monday, Live everybody. and alive. Yes, it's a good Monday. Can you believe next week is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. That just seems crazy. Man. Already. Time just keeps going fast. Okay, so I have to know. This isn't the question. But who has their Christmas decorations up? I got to know. Huh? Hey, BV. And if you don't have them up, when are you putting them up? Yeah. Hey, Sarah. Um, and, and most people do put them up the day after Thanksgiving. However, we've had a couple of clients already send us pictures of Christmas Who's trees. Right? Yeah. Already up. We're like, what? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Our, well, last date night, we were went out and hmm. on the way out to dinner. Mm-hmm. And we passed that house that had, oh, yeah. I mean, it had everything. I mean, it was a regular, <laughs> it was, it was Santa Clark, Claus land. Well, it was um, Clark, Clark, Clark Griswold. Griswold. Yeah. I mean, it had nothing on him. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> James says his hourly rate is 250 was, oh, so totally doubled. All right. About okay. doubled. Right. All right. Yeah, about, about that. It is double. Yeah, it is double. All about right. Mm -hmm. How do you feel yeah. about that? One of the dumb things, not paying yourself. Yes. Yes. That's one of the, there's a lot of the, right, that's don't, right. give, don't give away right. all the good talking points, Kimberly. Right. <laughs> and not yeah. that you guys would know anything about that. Right, right. right. Cause, nope. Cause you ain't dumb. <laughs> that's just something you heard us say. That's right. All right. Okay. So, um, what's their question? What, is, what is our question? I don't know. I Ms. Shelby. Christmas, well, hold on. Christmas, what, no Christmas has been up since what? Chris, who was no that? Christmas in this house it's until. until December 1st. Good okay, for you, Lance. Okay, all right. Um, since November, this is number one. Okay. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh I know. <laughs> Are we even going to put up a tree? I know this year. <laughs> Are we going to get one? Let's get. I want to get one of those pink ones. The <gasps> With pink flamingos. Yeah, <gasps> do a flamingo theme or we something like do that. that. Yes. You know, that'll drive our kids crazy. Insane. Yes. <laughs> All right. That was there, the that, question. There was the question. Do you? offer or provide right, free, free estimates. estimates with your plumbing company okay. yes or no we, we i'm not know. saying that's good or bad. yeah not yet <laughs> <laughs> see who steps on this one <laughs> steps right, right. not too many people will but yes do you provide free, free estimate. estimates well you got or, well you got to provide free estimates because mm -hmm. everybody does it okay i mean mm -hmm. you got to got to do free estimates drive around and give free you got to drive all over town giving free estimates sure 
That's you know, I'm just a dead man driving. <laughs> um, I feel yeah. like my hourly rate is way high, but I went through the numbers three times, and it's correct. Yes. Because numbers don't lie. lie. What's um, numbers don't lie. that feeling is that it's way too high. You mm-hmm. feel it's way too high, Mike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm gonna talk. That's a serious thing. Thing. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm being real here. Yeah. You know, we think that it's way too high. Mm-hmm. You know, because we feel that we're not. The bottom line is, we feel we're not worth it. Mm-hmm. And, and we're just a, we, normally we're just a small shop. We're a small right? shop, and yeah, what do I know? I mean, I can't charge what those big guys mm-hmm. charge, and why not? Because we, we've been telling ourselves all along that we don't want to charge what those big guys charge. We don't right. take advantage they of advantage people, of right? Kind of, make, you know, it gets us all puffed up. You mm-hmm. know, that kind of thing. Yep. But what you'll find out is it costs us more as a little guy. To operate than it does the big guys to operate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And if you if you provide the same quality service, and even better, of course, right. you should charge more. Yes. You charge for value, right? Yes. So, right. Um, provide free estimates. Anybody owning up to yeah. if they do huh? free estimates, I can't see. I can't imagine anybody is. But yeah. So do you offer free estimates? Drive around all over town. We'll see if you want to give free estimates. Yep. Do you drive all over town? Give me free estimates. Mm-hmm. You know, this will be the one. It's like digging for gold. Yes. This is where the gold's this at. This is it. They're this drilling for oil. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. They were really serious. Right. They were really serious when they called Oh, in. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just go lower, maybe if I pay them, I'll get the job. I'll get the job. Probably not. Okay. Yeah. All you right. Know. So. So no one's mm-hmm. going to no one's gonna own up if they get free estimates or not? Not yet. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Right, let's, <laughs> let's get started on the show. Well, let's get Would it. you please? Okay. Okay. Well, these are common mistakes mm-hmm. that plumbing business owners make mm-hmm. when starting out. Good. See, okay. I'm just reading all the. What you see? Uh, reading some of the quotes. Okay. Um, Keith says, "Not anymore." Good. Um, love hearing that. And then um, Q just said, "Actually, our fee is going up." Okay. Good. Not since joining MDP. All That's right. right, Alex. Good. Mm-hmm. All right. That. I see Carmen has just okay, raised you know. our di- dispatch fee. Ooh. Okay. Good All news. right. Okay. Okay. They have a sixty-nine places. There's a sixty-nine dollar <laughs> estimate <laughs> estimate charge. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. 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 Um, nope. And nope. And nope. nope. All oh. from six one five plumbing. Okay. All right. Good. Love good. That. Well, let's get at what are the common mistakes. Now, there's a lot of mistakes we make starting out. Okay. Title of tonight's show is money in the Mo- bank. Money in your bank. Money in the bank. Okay. So we're talking money. But these are these are three common mistakes. Even if he just corrected these, mm-hmm. you'd have money. You, st- you start seeing money show up in the bank. Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you start being successful. Okay. You just just stop doing these three things. Okay. Okay. So let's hit it. Let's hit it. Okay. Well, Big we? mistake number one. <laughs> Uno. Uno. There we go. There it is. Okay. Serving, Serving the wrong customer. Mm-hmm. Well, they're all. They say I have a plumbing problem. <laughs> right. All right. Mm-hmm. But serving the wrong customer. Okay. What? Who is the wrong customer? Good question. Okay. Very, very quickly. The mm-hmm. bottom line. Someone who doesn't value you. You. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't value the work that you do. Doesn't Does, value the, the quality of the work. Right. None of those things. Right. They doesn't value. Normally doesn't value your time either right so that doesn't value any of those things right okay mm-hmm. where you have customers where um certain customers where the value is how low can you go correct and normally that's the general contractor gc right right so that's why we yeah. not your customer right um home warranty companies home warranty typically com- not i mean some people have had success not a lot um with home warranty companies but, but again, not, they're theirs is bottom line right bottom, bottom dollar not, right it's not, not about valuing you or even valuing their time right their time and, let alone your time right and wrong customer right. some also the wrong customer is someone who isn't um directly affected by the the plumbing work that you do right the right. gc the home warranty company the commercial the you know commercial, right. you're, you're walking into the you know to the walmart or whatever and you got to hunt down the manager mm. the manager's just trying to get through the day right. couldn't care less mm, nope okay mm-hmm. um they don't they don't value you right okay and your the right time. customer right. is the one who does value you Right. Are we going that route? Yeah, yeah. You go right, ahead. Take it, baby. <laughs> values you. But Listen also, to lovely Laura. Um, it's their home, right? Their home is what it matters to them. It matters right. what goes in it. It matters who's in it. It matters what kind of warranty. All those things. It directly affects them. That's right. the right customer. Right. Um, the, and Alex says the wrong ones um, that complain about $59 are more often than not the wrong customer. Yes, if they're gonna, gonna, going to complain about your, your diagnostic charge. Or trip charge. Or, or yeah, service call fee, whatever you call right. it. Right. Wrong customer. That, that's why we put that in. That's a qualifier mm-hmm. to find out that right customer. Right. 
Okay, so for those of you in the academy, you know, we discuss that as a qualifier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right from the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. And so by the time we say, oh, by the way, Mrs. Jones, we have a $49 evaluation fee, which we waive should we do any work whatsoever. All right, we'll see you between 12 and 2. Mm -hmm. All right, if they go, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 I'm not gonna, I ain't going to put $49. I ain't put 40. I'm, you're gonna get That's it. not I'm your getting, customer. I'm getting 14 estimates. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right. number 13. Right, Lance's home warranty companies. <laughs> nope. Def, def, definitely. <laughs> yes are the wrong customer mm -hmm. okay the problem is as we start out when we start our plumbing business mm -hmm. I, I we did the same thing and we, we had did. working for a couple you know general Jesus. contractors mm -hmm. okay and of course Couple they promise under. you you get all you do the you do this house for for free right. i'll give you all my houses <laughs> then they rope you into the second one well mm -hmm. if you'll do the next one for a hundred bucks <laughs> man we'll, we'll start working a real deal for the rest of them mm -hmm. then they work you out right right and then never pay you the hundred bucks <laughs> right or make you beg and fight for it you know and that, that oh, kind of a man. thing do you remember okay. that that was our first like almost with reality and we almost went under. oh man do you see right uh, None of them are good. Mm. When you say, well, I got, I got work. Well, you got work. You're, you're busy. Yeah. You're busy, you know, jumping through hoops for them. Right. And, and chasing the money, you know. And if you're doing um, that work over um, service work that comes in, you're a dead man plumber. Oh, man. Dead man plumber. Definitely. Mm. Okay. Yes. Much rather have $500 a day, cash mm -hmm. in hand, mm -hmm. than f promise of $5,000 next week. Or not even next week. Not even, not even, Jesus, or never next I week. Know. 60 days from I'm be, now. I'm being, yeah. I'm being nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But it's a foolish thing we do. We get caught in that trap. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we yeah, just. Yeah, because it, normally the ticket's big. Right. right. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the promise of make money. Right. This is going to so, be, be a huge um, payday. Did, Patrick said, I did this. Not good. Yep. Yes. We, we all do. We, you know, yeah, we, we all up. do because right. it's, it's work to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but that's, um, you know, serving the wrong customer. Mm -hmm. And that's why there's no money in the bank mm -hmm. or you can go forever. Correct. Okay. Or you see money pass through. Right, yeah. but it right. goes to payroll. It goes to the supply right. house. It goes to everybody. They find you, you finally give you that ten thousand dollar draw, mm -hmm. but you owe fifteen thousand uh -huh. dollars. <laughs> right, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Mo says if you do every house below cost, I'll allow you the privilege of plumbing all of our houses. Right, <laughs> that's exactly right. So uh -huh. we we think we can make it up on volume, <laughs> 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 which is so true. You know, we thought, okay, well, right now it's only twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, but I'm gonna have a hundred thousand dollars. Right. But what you're out 200000 200, <laughs> <laughs> And there's no promise that they're going to pay you. Mm. There, there isn't. I mean, it's mm. a game. That's, it's a game they play with, uh, with little guys. Mm. Okay, so if you're working for a GC or even the commercial accounts, I mean, their job, and even the, the warranty companies, their job is to get you low mm. and get you low and get you hooked on the crack. Okay, that, that's how they play the game. Right. Okay, and they, they get you in there, and they can push you around. Don't fall for the So trap. you can't make money. The little guy, it's so, so, so hard. Are the big mm -hmm. guy, well, I know, I know I'll have guys that will point out this company, you know, is a multi-gazillion dollar company doing new homes and all that. Mm -hmm. That's because they're paying someone off and blowing in someone's ear. <laughs> Okay, and, and I'm they, being have, nice. they have a lot deeper pockets. A lot deeper pockets. Lot it's deeper already pockets. set up. There's already um, shady stuff going behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. There's money passing back and forth. You know, maybe some professionals, whatever. <laughs> right, you know, okay, there's, okay, there's stuff going on. Record, Epstein's please. Island. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is shady stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And, and you, you, we just aren't, as little guy, we're just not equipped. You're not equipped to play that game. You are not. So your best bet is to Lots. find the right customer. Yes. Lots okay. of work at zero margins is still zero. Right. Exactly right. Okay, so that's number one. Okay. One well, number first major big mistake: serving right. the serving the wrong, wrong customer. customer. Right. Okay. Let's see. Mike, Mike says I rescheduled two commercial jobs off today because residential calls came in, were coming uh, in. Good. Rather take care of residential calls before serve or before any commercial. Um, perfect. Right yeah. on, and that's Mike. That's how you do it every single time. Every single time. Right. You'll hear me saying I do even work with my clients. You know, we say you know no GC, no no commercial, no warranty. Mm -hmm. Okay, but. However, however, okay, that's way we will keep. You may keep a commercial or a GC account, or even you know we have one that's you know a warranty company they mm -hmm. work with mm -hmm. or whatever, just to kind of even out the low times. You know, in that low cycle, you can pick them up mm -hmm. or to train new guys in. Right. I mean, we had a couple of commercial accounts. I mentioned Walmart's so with mm -hmm. Dairy Queen, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. That pay they did pay every thirty to forty days. You know, that kind of a thing. But that was easier for us when we were bigger, got bigger. 
because I'm going to get in this idea of cash flow. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need okay. the money now, right. especially if, you know you're a one, two, three truck company. You need the money now, right now. not the promise of it next month. Okay. Bo says my uh, mic needs to be louder. I'll just talk louder. How's that? Okay. Going? Bo said mic. My mic. Okay, you but in it? You talking? Get I'm, right in there. Get I right in there. I'm doing right. I know. I'm, I, I you, you always get after me for you, being a low talker, yeah. soft talker. Yeah, you're afraid of like you're, you're afraid of like yelling or something like that. Oh, I'm not afraid. I, of I've yelling. heard you yell. No, you're not. <laughs> and Let's you're not afraid be to beat me either, are you? <laughs> nope. You beat me. <laughs> Anyways, well, okay. Um, all right. Okay. Mistake number one: serving mm-hmm. the wrong customer. Mm-hmm. Mistake number two. All right. And this we all do this one: working for free. <laughs> and yes, I mean working for free. Mm. Number one: if you're not charging enough. Okay, mm-hmm. you're working for free. Mm-hmm. All right, for everyone that's listening right now, whether you have one truck, um, so even if you're just one truck, if you're if you're charging anything less than two hundred fifty dollars an hour, you're working for free. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's costing you more to operate than what what you're charging. Okay, you're, you're not accounting for all your time. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to add anything anything to that? Um, yeah, and if you don't know what it should be. Um, this is a shameless <laughs> plug for the Success <laughs> Academy, right? We have the 14-day free trial, and you can get the calculator that helps you figure out what your hourly rate right is. Right in the first module. Right in the first module. For so, free. Yeah, for free. 100% free. Okay. Um, but we know we're going to hook but, you on the credit. Because you don't want to miss the rest of the modules. Exactly. Okay? So, right. But yeah, um, knowing your honest hourly rate, what you should be charging. Anything less, you are working And we call free. that the honest mm-hmm. hourly rate. If, if you're just coming up with a number because... It's the number that your last company that you work for charged, okay? And so you take, I'll show them. I'm going to take 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> <Skirt. laughs> All right? Or, you know, you're, you're down at the supply house. You know, what do you, what do you charge for a water heater? What do you charge for a sump pump? What do you charge? Like they're telling you the truth. Like they know. Right. All, their, all the guys don't know, you know? What did your mom used to say? You know, if your mom said, you know, would you follow... Would you jump off the Brooklyn uh, Bridge too, right. just because mm-hmm. your friends did whatever? Well, well sure. most plumbers do. Well, yeah. yeah, why not? Right, right, right. They're, so. they're charging eighty-five dollars an hour, and I'm going to charge eighty, and I'm going to beat them. <laughs> All right, okay. Or you know, my favorite mm. is just simply pulling out of your arse. Arse. I got I got this last time, mm-hmm. so I can get this again, or I think I can get this. Okay. Or you pull into the driveway and you see what kind of house it is. Right. Right. What kind of cars they drive? That then you kind of determine. Oh. Oh, I think I can maybe get right this. Which is prejudging, pre you know your yeah. your customer, which you should mm-hmm. never do. No, pre-qualifying By the, way, the customer. Pre-qualifying the customer. Mm-hmm. Toughest yeah. customers is a reason why those who have money have money. Mm-hmm. There, there will be the hardest ones that usually push back. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I can remember being in a house, you know, on you know guys where all the athletes live in our area in Indianapolis mm-hmm. and all that, and the big fancy house. You know, it was mm-hmm. a ten car garage. Mm-hmm. I'm exaggerating. It was five cars, <laughs> five car garage had a basketball. You know, mm-hmm. had a court, court mm-hmm. inside the house, mm-hmm. indoor pool. Mm-hmm. I mean, just big place. And the guy just run me through the ringer for a hundred and forty five dollar <laughs> host picket repair. And yes, I did give options. Okay, <laughs> but he went, <laughs> you know. So, but in the house, my Mrs. My Mrs. Jones, mm-hmm. who I was um, an elderly lady down in the rough part of town mm-hmm. in a rough house, who got two total toilets. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, if you would have and pre-qualified. I, I, I walking in there, I thought, this ain't, if I would have thought, ain't nothing going to happen here. Mm-hmm. And she wound up going uh, with two total toilets mm-hmm. with just a senior discount. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to even do my drop dead or anything. Mm-hmm. You know? And you're like, okay, last time I'm going to pre-qualify. Right. Okay. So, All right. Yes. But working for free, mm-hmm. not charging what you need to charge. Okay? Mm-hmm. you got to know why you charge what you charge. Right. Okay? You're not being honest to yourself. Okay? Um, which is a big deal, but you're also not being honest with your customer. You're stealing, okay? If you're just, if you don't know why you're charging what you're charging, you are stealing. Mm. So all these guys that say, "Well, I, 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 I they're not going to charge two hundred fifty dollars an hour. That's <laughs> highway robbery. I, I, you know, all that." Well, I'm, what do you charge? It's like eighty-five dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Where'd you get Even, 85? Why is it so low? Right. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Why are you charging $85 an hour? Mm-hmm. If you don't know why you're charging $85 an hour, how the numbers work, you're stealing from your customer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're robbing from yourself. Robbing from yourself. Like mm-hmm. you're just being foolish. Okay. Yes. You're dead so, and, and it's not a hard thing, to, hard thing to learn. Again, mm-hmm. I mentioned, I made it very simple for you, the honest hourly rate calculator. Mm-hmm. It's in the first module of the academy. It is. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's the easy walkthrough. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Next is doing, we mentioned it, the, f- the free estimates. Yes. Free, no free estimates. No. 
Right. Mm -hmm. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. Ever. It never works out. And you never. guys know it. Most of you guys that are watching that have done it before. Well, I'm still doing remodels. Stop doing remodels. Oh, yeah. Please stop doing remodels, too. Okay. If you're serious about growing a plumbing business. Yeah. Yeah. Going out, going out okay. to any job where you have to write up an estimate and leave it, that's not your customer. Right. It's just not. You can't compete on that. You, mm -hmm. you, you just can't do it. Nope. Driving around for free. Right. Now, I'm talking, now we're talking about the million dollar plumber way of things Correct. here. We're, we're talking well, about course. building a, Which is the right a million dollar plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Multi-million dollar plumbing business. While having. While having a life too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And being able to systemize it where you can just, you know, it doesn't take a lot to operate. We, mm -hmm. we can just put people in, in place. Correct. Okay. Are there companies that, that drive all over town doing free estimates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And they're, that make money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're set up in a different way. Mm -hmm. And it's a way, if you're actually looking to um, have a life, it's, it's not uh, where, where you're, you don't have to be on top of things and in things daily, mm -hmm. okay? You, you yourself, okay? And not be dependent on anyone, salesman, a salesman, mm. salesman, <laughs> key employee <laughs> that will have you by the short hairs, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be in that position, mm -hmm. then you can't be driving around and giving free estimates. Mm -hmm. Free estimates okay? bad. Free estimates, that's a dead man driving. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So stop it. <laughs> okay? For models, even if they pay up front, still cost you money and you lose. That's exactly right. Because yeah. it never fails with remodels. It never right. fails that there's um, some sort of change order, which they didn't sign. Right? right or just waiting or, on? Or I thought that's what you it should have been included and all right. that. Now you're you're fighting and right. it always goes longer mm -hmm. or because it goes longer because you're waiting on the other trades that are involved. Trades to, yes, it's, and it's, it's it just, just messes good. again. Mm -hmm. um, even if they pay you up front, which they don't, <laughs> which they don't, <laughs> you know, um, it it just isn't worth it. No. Okay. No, especially again, just especially it's just starting out. Yeah. You know, when, once you get 10, 15 trucks and you want to add a remodel division, great. And you want to do it right and you but, set up and you can, you know, mm -hmm. you can deal with it, mm -hmm. you know, that that kind of a thing. But, and not dependent on it. Right. Okay. It's like you're going mm -hmm. after just gravy. You know, great stuff tonight. Um, but collecting payment up front, I wouldn't do that. I might miss the upsell. Um, yeah, we don't collect payment up front. Once, no. once the work's done, definitely not. Um, so, but you will give them a price up front, Anthony. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to give them a price up front, mm -hmm. um, so they will sign off on knowing what they're going to pay, and the upsell right. will come after. Right. Okay. So now you can say, you know, with that, Anthony, I'm assuming you're the plumbing business owner. Mm -hmm. See, that's a that's a trap we guys we all come from. Mm -hmm. We we were good at doing these things. I could walk in and sell an estimate mm -hmm. and do it. Sell but an I, estimate. I mean, I mean get the work mm -hmm. right. i mean and so can you guys right and and do an upsell and right add on and all right and all those yes. all those kinds of things mm -hmm. but your guys can't most guys cannot most most guys cannot so we right. want to systemize their ability to take care of mrs jones mm -hmm. the, the server right. okay not depend on them to learn how to be salesmen right and, and, and be in those kinds of positions mm -hmm. okay yep. again with the estimates the reason why i could do estimates because i actually cared your guys don't care <laughs> Nope. Okay, your guys. That's a hurdle to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a common. That's a big mistake. That's mm -hmm. down. That's on the list here. Mm -hmm. Way oh. down the list. Right, whatever. Right. We're only covering three tonight. <laughs> but thinking that your guys care, mm -hmm. they don't care. They okay, do not. they don't care. All right. So okay. anyway, All right. beat that one home. Okay. Okay. So it's point two. Well, point two. Speaking mm -hmm. of something free. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's a good segue. Oh, doing free estimates. Oh, I see. Really. I do have something free for you <laughs> that works out. Okay. <laughs> It's it's my free million dollar plumber blueprint. But well, we don't you have to drive to your house and right. deliver it, and right. That's right. That's yeah. why I can give it free. It's all, it's all that doesn't take a lot of my scenes. time. It right. It just happens. <laughs> it okay. Just happens like all right. It's my blueprint. All the specs laid out for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. To create a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right. All you, and you can get it for free. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Simply type free in the comments. Okay. Or or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash free. Free. And grab your free oh. blueprint. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Okay, something free. That was good. Okay. Good segue, baby. So what do we have so far? Three, three common big three. mistakes. Talking okay. money in the bank. So, right. Now keep you from having money in the bank. Right. We want to get money in the bank. We want to serving the wrong customer. Money in the bank. Yes, serving the wrong customer. Ain't gonna get money in the bank. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, working for free. Dead ain't man, gonna get money in the bank. Dead man driving. Dead, dead man, dead man dead driving. Dead man plumbing. Dead man plumbing and driving. <laughs> driving and plumbing. Okay? And finally, number three. Mm -hmm. All right? Big mistake. Huge mistake we make. Huge. This is a biggie. Is it okay? the biggest? 
Acting like a bank. <laughs> Acting like a bank. What do I mean by that? I don't know. Tell us. I'll bill you. <sighs> you might as well say, I'm a dead man. <laughs> All right? And I'm, well, I'm a dead man. You might as well say, don't bother paying me. Don't bother. Me. Right. Yeah, don't bother. Okay. No, just forget it. I'll bill you. Oh, my goodness. If you remember. Right. Right. Or you get around to it. Right. Which is the big, I mean, it just... Mm-hmm. All that money, but you, but, you know, but you got to got to pay to Spy House. You, yeah. you got to hire someone. You got payroll coming got payroll. up. Payroll. All right. Mm-hmm. Try try telling the electric company that I'll I'll, I'll get around to paying you. Yeah. Or I all mean, right. we talk about all the time about you can't walk into to Walmart and you know get up all the things you you want to get and you get to the place you know get to, through the cashier and say send me a bill send me a bill and walk out right. Or it, <laughs> Taco Bell, right. or at a restaurant, or, or anything. Right. Just, so, well, that's the, the the feeling we get. We hear back as well. I gotta. I mean, I got gotta invoice them. That's that's what I've always done, and that's what we do. No one, no one pays for plumbing right away. Sure, do. they do all yeah. the right. long day. You know, and well, you well, the, cus- well, pres- well, the customer's not going to want to. They won't go with it, and they're not going to have me do the work <laughs> because I don't pay it. Okay, wrong customer. All right, exactly, he's <laughs> the wrong customer. customer. Mm-hmm. But that's not true, because in the customer's experience. They have to pay for everything they do. If they took their car in to get worked on, right, right, got a repair, oil change, whatever, and you go to pick it up and you're like, send me a bill. Send me a bill. think they're going to give you the car? Right. You think you get your car? No. No. Not happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why in the world for things like plumbing do do plumbing business owners think they should invoice and not collect right then? Right then. You couldn't give an argument where that makes sense. You just can't. Right. And especially when you're starting out or, or a young business, mm-hmm. the, it's not uh, cash and cash flow. You've heard cash is king. Mm-hmm. Well, it's cash flow cash is king. Cash flow is king. Cash flow is life. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not even just blood. The example, It's air. So imagine holding your breath for 30 days. <laughs> okay. Are you going to be able to do it? No. I mean, I know being... You're going to die. But, right. But that's mm-hmm. how silly this thing is mm-hmm. and how much it's killing your plumbing business by not working for those and collecting from those mm-hmm. that you do the work today. Today. Get the money in the bank right. today. So start, if, if anybody is right. watching right now and you or someone that bills or doesn't collect at the time of service starting tomorrow... Right. Put that into effect. And it's easy to get to start taking credit cards. Guys, it's, it's super easy. So, Things, uh, like, today, there's no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Things like Square. And we right. have a link, I think, out on our Power, our power right. Tools page. Square. And, and just a merchant account is super easy, easy to get. Right. If you won't do this, you don't deserve right. to, be to, to be in business. Mm-hmm. Okay? If you're you, not a if business. You, right. You're not a, if you don't accept right. credit cards, you're not a real business. I, I want you to feel that. Cause I, feel, mm-hmm. I feel the emotion with this. Cause I talk to guys in the company all the time, and mm-hmm. they're, they're billing stuff. Or they have AR, you know, yeah. thousands, thousands of, dollars of dollars out in AR that they haven't even bothered calling Mm-mm. for. No. You know, Bad. it's like that is just crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Your business, if, if you would just do, again, uh, I'd much rather be making a couple hundred bucks a day would be a lot better for your plumbing business than plumbing that house mm-hmm. with the promise of getting paid, you know, $10,000, which you're probably doing it for $5,000 because I'm not worth much, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm, right. you know, but I'm working, you know, 60 hours a week mm-hmm. plumbing this house and doing the change orders because I want to be a nice guy for mm-hmm. free, you know, because he's going to give me those other I, houses. Because I don't want to piss him off because I may get the other work and they've right. been giving me work. Yeah, he's giving you work because you're working for free. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they call that slavery. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it is that. Yes. It is that. It's called a, um, a, a charity. Right. It's a hobby. No. Or it's, it's a hobby. At that point, you're, you're a slave if you're, mm. you're they're working for free. Mm. Okay. Stop that. Stop Start it. Start collecting right. today. Right. And c- you're not going to get pushback. Most customers know they have to pay at the time of service. So just, and if you don't accept credit card yet, um, tell them that you accept checks and um, yeah, Bob, cash. Bob Lane, I see something there. I understand that. Hmm. Do you, Bob? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean this because this is the hurdle you got to get over. What about the commercial accounts that work off net 30 and pay on time and give 50 to 100,000 K a year in work? I see that Anne, a good Mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. Are they paying your, your honest hourly rate? If they are, then Then, great. Then again, if you, you may have some commercial accounts that you've set up that are pay religiously. Now commercial accounts also they're a business. And so they do have. Um, credit cards, but if you're billing fifty to a hundred thousand, that does a pretty decent commercial account. 
So if you have a relationship established where they are paying, then yeah, that's fine. That is the um, exception to the rule. But I also... And it's also very rare. Right. Very, very rare. Also, I wouldn't build my business on, on commercial or, no. or GC accounts because, you're going. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's basically one customer. Right. They may have lots of locations or a big building or whatever. Yeah, you may have all the Walmarts right. in your district. But as soon as that person you've got the relationship with um, at that commercial account And they leaves. bring in the candy girl. <laughs> okay, don't even know you're going there. <laughs> and they bring this, in the candy girl is, to take over a, the department. This is a whole target right. when we used to service target. target. Anyway, <laughs> but as soon as that person leaves or right. changes or gets promoted or fired or whatever, you now have... They don't know who you they are. Who, and they and don't it, care. They don't care. They don't care. A new person comes in and wants to show that they can, you know... Save the department. You know, 10%. Mm-hmm. And so they're, they're cutting your, your pay. Yep. Or they find some their person. Right. They find their their guy. It mm-hmm. happens all the time. Mm-hmm. So when I say, you know, you may hold on to a GC or a commercial account, um, especially if, if you get a little bigger and you can afford to wait the 30 days. Mm-hmm. Again, we're still talking cash flow. Right. It's your life lifeblood. Right. And who else said they got it, Mike? So, so they turned down two commercial jobs, went on the residential. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Mm-hmm. Okay, to do the wait 30 days for the money, no matter what you think it may be, I'd much rather get the money in the bank today. Today, Correct. Today, mm-hmm. okay. But, you know, with those accounts, you know, you want to look at them as, as just extra. If, I, if they happen to go away, yeah. mm. okay. It's all right. It's all right. Whatever. And, and if they right. don't and, and it works out, then it's gravy and great. Right. Okay. But again, for most, most of the people that we, we speak with are... You know, smaller shops, and, and to be able to do that is just not feasible. Right. So, well, when you're trying to mm-hmm. start with nothing. So right. you can imagine if you charge, you know, your honest hourly rate, okay, um, we, we see it all the time. Mm-hmm. That's one reason why we make it in the Success Academy. It's the first, it's the first module. For, it's not only a big deal. It's a, it's a foundational issue, mm-hmm. charging what you need to know why you're charging what you're right. charging and charge what you need to charge. But you immediately, we immediately get you a success. Because mm-hmm. you'd be amazed that next month, all of a sudden, I got money in the bank. It's the craziest thing. It's the craziest wait, thing because wh- I'm wait, charging. what? Right. <laughs> What's happening? This is the first time ever I've had money in right. the bank. I, I can't tell you. Even with my, <laughs> I, I can't. And this is a hard thing to get over, gang. This is why I'm, most, it's, I'm, I'm kind of being a little emotional here with this mm-hmm. because this is hard for you to get you to understand and let go of these lies and, the, and these bad habits. I even have it with my with clients that I work, I've worked with for some time and to find out they haven't raised their honest hourly rate. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I didn't say it. I didn't oh say my it. Goodness. But it was like, what the? You know, it's like, but Bleep. I can't believe it. No wonder you're still struggling. Well, mm. I don't know. I was going to change it when I get, <laughs> what the? Heck. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to come up there and smack you around. <laughs> Stick the lovely lore on you. She likes to beat people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, be oh. <laughs> anyway, that's money okay. in the bank. How yep. to get money in the bank? Both today. Says, yep. If they're mm-hmm. net thirty, charge them a finance fee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Or just not even do the net thirty. That's right. Even not better. even do the net thirty. Mm-hmm. You know, we come to think of that. You know, we did. Um, I think Walmart was the only one that we kept. And they did pay thirty mm-hmm. to four, thirty to forty day. I mean, mm-hmm. 30 to 45. but they were kind of a pain. But it was that example of what's his name used. You know, they were a good account. Mm-hmm. Um, but everyone else, we got a card and collected. Yeah. You know, want to keep a card, mm-hmm. a card on file. Right. Even even some landlords, all that kind of stuff. Oh, especially landlords. <laughs> Definitely landlords. La- uh, landlords would have been um, one of the wrong customers. Typically, dealing with a landlord is they're they're more bottom dollar right not all we did have a couple that took care of their properties but for the most part now you know you don't want to be the finance company be Mm -hmm. be the bank you know there's finance companies out there you you service titan you know their finance company makes it easy it's right there and on the tablet tablet and the Mm -hmm. customer can see you know what monthly payment monthly payment which looks low low well how do i do that Mm -hmm. that was a great it's it's a sales tool right you know you Mm -hmm. don't have to be a salesman they just how do i get that price right well here just answer these Easy questions, and with mm-hmm. a couple minutes, approved. They're bada approved. Boom, bada All right, bing. And, and then, then that money goes into your bank. Into your bank, you right? Get money in the bank today. Okay, yes. and you let the people that that are banks and finance companies that are mm-hmm. set up that way and have the pockets and the know-how, right? And are structured to go after you know, you mm-hmm. know, the rhyme people and to be focused on that. Correct. You know, let them do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just you just run your plumbing business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is really simple. You want to get money in the bank. Mm-hmm. 
take care of the right customer, mm -hmm. okay? The customer is the value paying you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> value their time, mm -hmm. okay, and your time to take care of them, right. okay? All right? Mm -hmm. Don't work for free. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you Wait, know, what? Don't work right. <laughs> Wait, somebody's don't, like, let me what? write that down. Right, don't work. <laughs> uh -huh. Bob, time to join the Success Academy. That's right, Ann. Thank you, Ann. Thank you. Bob, are you not in the Success uh, Academy? Shame all right. on you if you're not. Come soar with the Eagles, Bob. That's all right. right. All kinds of uh, Eagles okay. there. Okay. You know, it's <laughs> but it's you know, don't work for free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Charge what you need, you know, more than what it costs you to operate. Right. Imagine that. Right. Okay. Like, and, and know what that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Charge for your time. Mm -hmm. All of your time. Not just the time on the job. Correct. That's the key in there. All of your time. Mm -hmm. All of your Which time. Which we go over in Module 1 yes. of the Success Academy. And then finally, you know, don't be the bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. don't, don't lend money you don't have. I mean, that's the thing. That's what you're mm -hmm. doing. You're right. lending money. Mm -hmm. You're lending money that you don't have. Okay, mm -hmm. get paid today. For the All, work you did today, you're worth right, it. Right, right. You're worth it. Get that money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, cash flow is it's it's your not just your lifeblood. It's your it's your your air that you breathe Correct. that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay. All okay. right, so get it. Get your so money the, today. There we go. All right. Good one. I hope, one. I hope uh, that came across well. I think I think it did. Okay, I hope some that uh, mm -hmm. will get that. Yes, yeah, guys, so it, give us some like bombs. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys, it's it. that. For, uh, a couple of newer, newer names here I, I saw here or whatever. Look, if you're in, in it and, and struggling, it really is, can be, it is this simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is. Now, it's not easy. For those who have been around a while know that I don't <laughs> say easy. There's a difference between simple and easy. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, it's not easy. Um, getting out of my comfort zone and figuring out what my honest hourly rate is, mm -hmm. okay? And then actually charging it. And then charging that, mm -hmm. right, okay? Uh, you'll be amazed. All of a sudden, you'll be charging more. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just charge $10 more just because I can? Maybe if there's some of you that aren't in the academy, just tomorrow, add $25 to your hourly rate. Whatever you charge right now, just add $25 oh, and that's see, what, yeah. see what happens. Just see right. what happens. right. You'll, you'll, you'll discover that the pushback's just the same. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. <laughs> so whether you're charging $50 or $500 an hour. Mm, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It right. really doesn't matter. Mm. Well, my competition's only charging. They don't know what your competition's charging. <laughs> okay? And that's not what you're selling. Mm -mm. Okay? All right? That's a whole other conversation. Right. But. Okay? All right? Okay. There we go. Good show, baby. All right. Good okay. stuff there. Speaking of Success Academy. Speaking of Success huh? Academy. Boy, what? that's a good transition. <laughs> All right, all these things we go over in the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, all right? Ooh. 12 modules covers everything you need to know from your honest hourly rate to flat rate pricing to the right kind of marketing, right kind of branding, mm -hmm. okay? Right kind of systems you need in How place. To answer the phone. Right, all, all those things. all those kinds of things, okay? We it's also all do live coaching twice right. a month. Right. Um, in the Zoom meeting. Richard does live coaching with live Q&A. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a private uh, Facebook group. There's okay. A Facebook pretty group, as well. pretty group that hang out together there. A lot Soaring of good stuff there. Okay. And you can still, that's for a limited time here. You got a 14 day free trial. That's going to yeah, be gone. Simply type success in the comments mm -hmm. or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. Mm -hmm. All right. Do it. All Grab right. You're serious today. about growing your plumbing business and having life too. <laughs> All right. There we go. Learn to get the money in the bank. Get the money in the bank. Today. All right. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I'm going to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. All right. So live like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.